Hey everybody, I just got home and just received my package from Right Stuff and I have this ripped off because I don't want you all to know where I live. <laughs> Internet security, it's very important. Did I say, oops, I was going to say, did I say hello? <laughs> but my camera fell over, so let me fix that. You can tell I'm like really excited. <laughs> if you couldn't tell, I am. So this is actually coming out next week. So this is from rightstuff.com. I pre-ordered this back in like July or somewhere around there. We are unboxing the Sailor Moon Blu-ray DVD. It's just a collector's edition. This is, ah, this is the collector's coin that comes when you order it from Right Stuff. It's also the same type of coin that was given out at some of the larger conventions. Mm. Well, I'll show you that sharper later. Well, you'll get that coin if you ordered the pre-order from Right Stuff, rather. Box, because we're fucking excited. That's a lot of wrapping. I can make a dress out of this, okay. Okay, this is my order stuff. You don't need to see that. This is some crap about saving 25 whatever percentage. Yeah, okay. And this is Gundam Unicorn because, yeah, Gundam. Woohoo! Oh my god, I'm a real ray. Okay, so here we go. It uh, is shiny. Trust me, you um, will be able to see in a moment. It says. Disc made, oh, 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 focus. Disc made in Mexico, oh yeah, we know all good Blu-rays are made in Mexico, or at least most of them. The sticker here is outside of the plastic wrap. What I wanted to do was cut here and not have to remove the plastic, but then you can't see the shininess. Oh, you, no, this actually is the shiny part. What am I talking about? It just isn't obviously shiny. Well, I swear it's shiny. It's just not shiny, shiny. Oh, there, on the bottom corner. Right there. Oh, yeah. It's not as shiny as it could be. I'm a little disappointed. You know I wanted this to be dark blue. So it could match with my other DVDs. Trying to be dainty. Trying to be dainty with this, huh? Huh? It's hard to be dainty when you're in a rush. And then I'm going to show you the DVD and the Blu-ray menus or whichever. So let's have some in-flight entertainment here. Um, we're going to all sing the Sailor Moon theme song on one, two, three. Go metin' it so now, I'll join a good day. You may want to get out of the blue. She on a guy, no, I show the zoom zen. I'm a sugu, I tie yo. Nani kaku, naru yo, the moonlight. Deva mom, deki na i midnight. Date jun jo, do shio. Hato a manik yo. We open the motherfucking DVD box and let's see what's inside. Okay, here's the booklet. This one was shown during the moonlight party that Viz did. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah, boring, boring pictures. All right, whatever. Probably post pictures of that on Facebook or something. Here is the DVD box, I imagine. Or it also has the Blu-rays. Oh no, sorry, this is the Blu-ray box. Episodes 1 through 8, episodes 9 through something, episodes whatever through whatever the fuck, and then 1 through 8 again. Alright, so, uh, okay, the second ones are the DVDs. The first ones are the Blu-rays. So we have one box, okay, one box for the Blu-rays and the DVDs, and it is quite plain. Sailor Moon is just there like she always is. This is a placeholder for the second, um, second, uh, volume. Okay, so when you buy this, you get one box, okay, that's going to hold both parts, but you're only receiving part one now. Part two, you can already pre-order it on Right Stuff and, um, quite possibly Amazon as well. Um, as you can see, I'm not going to be removing the plastic because I like to keep it in certain conditions. 
so oh, let's this is very heavy let me let me tell you um it says that it includes uh, let's let's have a look at what it includes please focus thank you it includes announcement panel and fan reactions who gives a crap about fan reactions we just want to watch Layla moon all right and the booklet booklet kind of tells you like what's going on in every episode and uh it's quite um quite forgettable to be honest with you. he's got character stuff uh whatever it's a collectible thing it's cool to have but um, quite honestly if you're just getting the dvd uh just the dvd version you're not missing out on much so this is what it looks like all cozy in there and nice. Let's go look at the DVD menu. So remember, if you order from Right Stuff, you will get a coin. At least while supplies last with volume part one, season one, part one, whatever the fuck. Let's go look at the menus. Hey, so check this out. When you uh, remove the first and the second discs, you can see Jedi Netflight back there. That is pretty damn cool. I had to remove them to show you. And I think Queen Barrel's in the middle. She's just covered by this. So. This case is actually uh, double-sided. If you wanted to flip this around and make it look like the villains are uh, on the cover, then you can do that. That is pretty cool. All right, we are putting the Blu-ray in my Xbox One, and we're gonna see what it looks like. This is volume one, that's me, hello. <laughs> yep, that's me again, hello, with my Xbox controller. Oh shit, it's Sailor Moon. She's saying hi to me. She's saying hi back to me. Alright. Wow, that is spiffy. Look how sharp that is. Alright, dude. Oh, the phone's ringing. Fuck the phone. Let the phone ring. This is the gallery. Um... Yeah, you can keep ringing, no one cares. There's no sound on this anyway. Yep, these are just, all right, you know what? I don't need to see, no, oh, well, that's not the right button. I don't need to see no stinking battery. I mean, gallery. Menus are calling. Setup menu. Oh, okay, the menu just pops up from here, like it's all good. Okay, so this is uh, DVD disc 3, um, just for some variety. We saw Blu-ray disc 1, now we're going to see DVD disc 3 and see how that differs. The menus may not pop out of the menus. Oh, that's quite different. Um, I'm going to show you Blu-ray. Wow, it's also quite blurry. Okay, let's just do extras. What are the extras? Let's, okay, it's just um, this stuff that I'm not going to watch. Alright, cool, main menu, whatever. Um, let's look at the setup menu. Yeah, this is quite different from the Blu-ray. It's just kind of the regular DVD shit you always see. Okay, cool. Now we're gonna, oh no, that's not the button again. Okay, we are gonna look at Blu-ray disc 3 and see how it compares. Um, <laughs> okay, say Lamaz. I'm saying bye to you. Goodbye. Bye. All right, so now we are watching Blu-ray disc 3. So we can compare it to DVD Disc 3, which we just saw. And I'm pretty sure it's going to look like Disc 1 of the Blu-ray. Hello, me again. Okay, come on, let's go. Yep, that's quite different. <clears throat> oh, so much better. Oh, Blu-ray, how I love you. Let's look at the setup menu because we saw that on the DVD. Uh, yep, it just pops up from there. And then... uh. Oh, not that button. Okay. Um, extras. Wow, that's that's a that's a lot of extras when the DVD offered very few. Um, all right, so uh, we're just gonna see Mercury for disc two of the Blue Ray. If you really want to see it, and all right, let's let's pop that sucker in. While I'm here looking at this thing here, let me just mention that the Blu-ray is so much cooler than the DVD, so like, I totally like, invest in Blu-ray players, cause oh god, viz, ah! Alright, there's a little Toei cat with a little Mexican hat, I don't know why. He looks like he's gonna offer me tacos or something. I love tacos. Alright, Mercury, yep, same thing we just saw for Sailor Mars, but the Blu-ray version, alright. 
Um, it's gonna be another boring ass gallery. I don't wanna watch that shit. Um, let's look at the DVD volume two, just to compare it to the Blu-ray volume two because because it's here and I can and I, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the DVD copies because I have a Blu-ray player, so I guess I'll just hold on to it forever. I have the DVD volume two in there. I just wanted to point out how nice it is that every disc has its own space. Here goes DVD two. Inside of this case, you don't have any overlap. So they're all very well protected. This is a very nice, very nice case. I am quite happy with it. Oh, now we're gonna look at the crappy DVD mini. Let's see how it is. Mexican guy. All right, let's go. Yep, that's it. No animation, no music. Uh, to be honest with you, I feel like Viz dropped the ball on their DVD release because they could have at least put some music, come on. Um, that's, uh, you know, if you're getting the DVD release, this is what's waiting for you. Just Mercury standing there, statically winking at you, trying to entice you to watch Sailor Moon and be happy about it when you could have the Blu-ray version. So I do definitely recommend the Blu-ray version. So, uh, it, th this, this is not going to be like gone forever. They're going to sell it at freaking Walmart and crap. So like, just so you know, the DVDs are quite boring. Okay, so I popped in Sailor Moon DVD volume one of the Viz release and I'm just waiting for it to pop up here. Um, I just want to say that I am so happy this came in early and I'm gonna watch it like a freaking weirdo. And um, oh, there's a little toy stuff. All right, we're just waiting to see what the menu is like. Perhaps this one will have music. I have my doubts. Uh, okay. That's it. It just, it just comes up. That's okay. Well, we know which version I like better. Oh, oh, what a bummer, Rooney. But hey, it's out, so go buy it in whatever version you can, but know that the Blu-ray is so much better. Thank you for watching. Um, Sailor Moon says peace out. Peeps, all right, whatever. I'm gonna, I'm gonna friggin' binge watch this and then do reviews later. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll see you guys and I'm gonna come out of my cave eventually. All right, bye.